you're on a hike taking photographs of towering mountains. Later, as you review the images, you notice the fine details you wanted did not appear as sharply as you had hoped. It is a common challenge for photographers to balance high resolution with compact equipment. But what if Fujifilm could provide us with 80 megapixel images from a 40 megapixel sensor? Does that sound impossible? Let us break it down. Fujifilm has always been at the forefront of sensor technology, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in digital imaging. Today, we are exploring how Fujifilm could surprise us with an 80 megapixel X-H3, even if it is a 40 megapixel sensor on paper. This is not just about numbers. It is about understanding how camera technology evolves and what it means for photographers like you and us. To understand where we might be heading, we need to examine where we are now. Fujifilm's current flagship sensors, such as those in the X-H2 and X-T5, use the X-Trans technology. These 40 megapixel sensors are already impressive, but what makes them stand out? The X-Trans color filter array uses a unique, random pattern. This design eliminates the need for an optical low-pass filter, which is typically used to reduce moire, but can also slightly reduce sharpness. The result? Images with exceptional detail and color accuracy. However, Fujifilm's innovation does not end there. In the past, they developed the EXR sensor technology. This featured a 45 degree rotated color filter array, further improving color accuracy and reducing moire. Although EXR is not used in current X-Series cameras, its principles could play a crucial role in the rumored 80 megapixel sensor. The question is, how could Fujifilm combine these technologies to create something even more remarkable? Now, let us delve into the core of this rumor, a 40 megapixel sensor that produces 80 megapixel images. How is this possible? The answer lies in a technique known as interpolation. Interpolation is a method of increasing image resolution by estimating new pixel values based on the surrounding pixels. In the case of this rumored X-H3, we are discussing the doubling of resolution through interpolation. This is not just a simple upscaling. Rather, it likely involves complex algorithms that account for the unique properties of Fujifilm's sensor design. The advantage of this approach is clear. You get the resolution of an 80 megapixel sensor without the typical drawbacks associated with such high pixel counts, such as increased noise in low light conditions or slower processing speeds. Remember the EXR technology we mentioned earlier? Its 45 degree rotated color filter array could be the key to making this 80 megapixel output possible. When a color filter array is rotated by 45 degrees, it alters the way the sensor captures detail. This rotation can reduce aliasing and moire effects, which are common issues when attempting to capture fine details. In the context of interpolation, this rotated array could provide more accurate data for the algorithms to work with. It is like giving the camera's processor a better foundation, enabling it to make more precise estimations when generating those additional pixels. This idea is not just theoretical. Fujifilm has a history of using rotated arrays in their Super CCD sensors from the early 2000s. Those sensors were known for producing images with a resolution higher than their physical pixel count suggested. By combining the concept of a rotated array with modern sensor technology and advanced image processing, Fujifilm could potentially achieve something remarkable, 80 megapixels of usable resolution from a 40 megapixel sensor. All right, a great sensor also needs to perform well in various lighting conditions. This is where Fujifilm's dual-native ISO technology comes into play. Dual-native ISO allows a sensor to have two base ISO settings where it performs optimally. This means you can shoot at higher ISOs with less noise, maintaining image quality even in challenging light. If the rumors are accurate, this new sensor will combine high resolution with excellent low light performance, a combination that is usually difficult to achieve as higher resolution sensors often face challenges in low light due to their smaller individual pixels. Another exciting aspect is the potential inclusion of 16-bit RAW support. Most current cameras use 14-bit RAW files. 
While those extra two bits may not seem substantial, they represent a significant increase in the amount of data captured. This could result in images with smoother tonal transitions and provide more flexibility during post-processing. To put the potential 80 megapixel XH3 into perspective, let us compare it to Fujifilm's medium format GFX series. The GFX100S, Fujifilm's 102 megapixel medium format camera, is currently the resolution leader in their lineup. It delivers excellent detail and dynamic range, but it also comes with the size and price typically associated with medium format systems. If the XH3 can indeed produce 80 megapixel images, it would blur the lines between APS-C and medium format in terms of resolution. You would be getting near medium format resolution in a smaller and likely more affordable package. Of course, sensor size remains important. The larger sensor in the GFX cameras offers advantages in depth of field control and overall image quality. However, for many photographers, the potential X-H3 could provide a compelling alternative, especially when considering factors like portability and versatility. So who would benefit from an 80 megapixel X-H3? Let us break it down by genre. Landscape photographers would have access to remarkable detail, ideal for creating large prints with stunning clarity. Fine art photographers could explore new levels of texture and nuance in their work. Whether capturing the intricate details of a portrait or the subtle tones in an abstract piece, this sensor could unlock new creative possibilities. Street and documentary photographers might appreciate the ability to crop extensively without sacrificing quality providing greater flexibility in refining their compositions after the shot. Essentially, you're getting the best of both worlds, super high resolution without the usual downsides of bulky cameras or poor low light performance. It's a tool that could adapt to a wide range of photographic needs. While the potential of this technology is exciting, it is important to consider the challenges Fujifilm might face in implementing it. Processing power is a key consideration. Handling 80 megapixel files requires significant computing resources, both in the camera and during post-processing. Fujifilm would need to ensure their processors are equipped to handle this without compromising speed or battery life. Storage is another important factor. High-resolution files occupy more space, which could affect both in-camera storage and long-term archiving solutions for photographers. Lens resolution is also crucial. To fully leverage 80 megapixels, lenses must be capable of resolving that level of detail. Fujifilm's current lens lineup is excellent, but we might see new lenses specifically optimized for this high resolution sensor. Finally, there is the question of how well the interpolation will perform in real world scenarios. While we can expect Fujifilm to implement this technology effectively, it will be interesting to observe how it handles various types of scenes and details. So that is all about the Fujifilm X-H3. What are your thoughts on these rumours? Are you excited about the possibility of an 80 megapixel X-H3? Let us know in the comments below. As for everything else, do not forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this in your feed. All right. We just saw some cool gadgets that are now quite popular, but that wasn't always the case. A lot of marketing had to be done for them to garner such a fan base. So if you are a business owner and want to increase your sales and drive more traffic to your sites, you should check out today's sponsor, TikTok for Business. It is a global platform designed to help brands like yours become creative storytellers and meaningfully engage with millions of TikTok users. Whether you're looking to attract customers, drive sales, or boost conversions, TikTok's unique ad solutions can get you there. From small businesses to large agencies, TikTok for Business has the tools to help you grow. With TikTok for Business, you can launch your first campaign in just three easy steps. First, answer a few questions, and TikTok will create a personalized marketing plan just for you. Then, craft your content using an easy-to-use template or upload existing creative. Finally, run your campaign and watch your business reach new heights with the most engaged audience online. So why are you waiting? Find the link in the description box and launch your first TikTok campaign today.